Steve here doing another beginner's guide to common topics on Dorico 5. As I've said before, I'm migrating over from PreSonus Notion to Dorico 5, so I'm having to kind of learn a number of different tricks and uh, making these videos both to help you as well as to help myself. So a year from now, when I don't remember, I can look at the video. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to combine two topics into one, and that's how to change rehearsal marks the size of the rehearsal marks, and in doing so, how to use the filter function to help us do that. Well, all right, let's have a look. So, here we go. We've got Sonata for two clarinets, B flat and A flat, and I have three flows, by the way, in this piece. And you can see the andante and, and the last movement. So, I want to change the size of the rehearsal marks. Make them smaller, let's say. Well, if you look in the manual, they'll tell you to do it in two steps. The first step is to decrease the actual size of the number. How do you do that? You actually have to do it in an unlikely way, is go to library, go figure, paragraph styles, again, go figure, rehearsal marks, and then go ahead with the size, let's say we decrease it to nine. Okay, there we go. And we see the little numbers are very small. Now, let's look and see if it did it in all flows. And the answer is yes. Doing it this way applies to all the flows in the project. But now we've got a big box and a little number. Well, how do we change the box size? The way we change the box size is, is, is in engraving options. So on a Mac, which is what I'm using, a Mac and OS 14, Command Shift E, bring up the engraving options, rehearsal marks, which allows you to do all of the settings that you need to do, for example, sequence type, position, vertical positions, uh, alignment of other, art, um, other items and rehearsal marks, enclosure type. And then we get to the rectangle, and this is where we can make the actual rectangle smaller. So let's go ahead and drop it down to two. Apply, close, and yes. And now you can see that the rehearsal marks are in fact smaller and they are reflected in every flow. Okay? So let's go ahead and Command Z to get everything back the way they were. I'm just undoing by Command Z. Okay, so now we've got things back to the war. Now there is a simpler way, and the simpler way has to do with how you use the filter function. So let's start by hitting Control A, Command A, sorry, to highlight all of the notes. Now this is important. Because I have different three flows, if you use Command A to grab everything, you will notice it only grabs things in the same flow. I know of no other way to do this uh, using the Command A function. Now you could make it all very, very small and drag everything, I suppose, but, but I've not found a way how to use Command A to pick up everything in a flow. Okay, so here we got Command A, everything in, in the flow. What you can do then, <clears throat> and this is a useful tool for many other reasons, is go to Edit, Go to filter, and now you can see all of the different things that you can filter for. Every, you know, notes, sharp notes, flat notes, and if you click these, you will see that whatever you have selected will be highlighted and can be changed. So for the purposes of this, let's go ahead and go back to filter. Let's click on our rehearsal marks, and you'll see that the rehearsal marks have been highlighted only in the current flow. 
So now that so now we've highlighted the rehearsal marks, we can go to properties and we can actually now change the scale. So let's say we want to make it 75% of what it is now. Boom. You can see that in fact both the square and the number together have gotten smaller. But you'll also notice that it does not occur in the other flows. So to do this, you would have to actually repeat command A for each flow and change them. So that's two different ways to use, um, to use, um, to make your rehearsal marks smaller. But let's go back, command A, just to show you that you can filter for just about anything to make a change. So let's go to filter. And let's say that you want to, um, you want to find, gee, where are all my holds and pauses? Well, you can click that and you can see the, the breath marks. That's probably the only, and the fermatas. So that's how you do, and then you can make changes to these in the property menus if they're similar enough that they have common properties. Okay, well, that's it. Thank you very much. Hope this has been helpful.